cementing is a crucial part of the wellbore construction process. A properly designed and executed cement job provides casing support during continued drilling and completion operations. It also isolates both hydrocarbon producing and permeable fresh water zones. By encasing the steel casing with properly designed cement slurry, the casing is able to withstand corrosion and pressure from the surrounding formations. Once a whole section is drilled, the drill pipe and bit are removed from the well and steel casing is run to bottom. A one-way valve, called a float shoe, is placed on the first joint of casing ran in the well. This float shoe allows fluids to be circulated through the casing and into the annulus, but not from the annulus into the casing. Once the casing is at the desired depth, the hole is conditioned by circulating mud and moving the pipe as much as possible. This conditioning removes any remaining drill cuttings and mobilizes the mud in preparation for removal. While the hole is being conditioned, the cementing company connects high-pressure lines, known as iron, from the cementing unit to the cementing head on top of the casing. Mud, water, and product lines are similarly connected from the rig to the cementing unit. On surface, dry cement blends are stored in portable storage tanks on location. Cement slurries are designed and tested to meet the specific requirements of each individual well. Slurry properties such as fluid loss, rheology, and thickening time have been adjusted accordingly. Once the well is ready, a fluid called a spacer or flush is pumped into the casing. The spacer's function is to remove the mud from the well and act as a fluid barrier between drilling fluid and the cement slurries. Spacers can be chemically modified to leave the formation water wet and aid in cement bonding. Following the spacer, a wiper plug is dropped to remove any remaining mud from the inside of the casing and further isolate the wellbore fluids from the cement. Following the spacer, the dry cement is pneumatically blown from the storage tanks to the cementing unit. The dry cement is mixed with water to form cement slurry at the correct density. Two slurries are often mixed and pumped, a lighter density economical lead slurry and a heavier high compressive strength tail slurry. Once all of the cement has been mixed and pumped, Another wiper plug, called a top plug, is dropped to remove any cement from the inside walls of the casing. The cement slurries are then displaced from inside of the casing by pumping mud or other fluid at high pressure until the casing is full of mud and the top plug is landed on the bottom plug. On surface, this is seen as a rapid increase in pressure on the cementing unit and is commonly known as bumping the plug. A small amount of cement, known as the shoe track, is left remaining inside the bottom of the casing string. After the plug is bumped, the pressure is released from the well and the cementing lines are removed from the well head. The cement is allowed to cure under temperature and pressure until it is strong enough for drilling operations to resume.